Welcome to part 14, I think of my Breath of the Wild playthrough. And the... Oh wait, I probably actually take a picture of this. And the last, um... Oh wait, just normal ore deposit, not a, um, a stone one. In the last video, we were working on one of... Um, two of our Catino Village quests. And I also got to this mountain here, where I was planning on doing a bunch of quests, but realized that was too cold for me to do. So I just didn't go up the mountain, and instead I'm in this place that leads up to the mountain, so I can get um, a memory here, and then just leave without going on top of the mountain, because like, there's a cookie pot that I can cook. He resistant food, and now help me in the mountain. I said mountain a lot there. Um, before I drowned over here, but I think it, it looks like I'm actually going to make it with this time I have right now, and I'm not going to drown right before the mountain. Mm, actually, I'm good. I'm, I made it. No, 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 no! I made it, but I slipped off. No, I'm back here. Okay, let's just take the other exit out because I'm just tired of swimming. And let's also eat this um, um apple as well. This is why I don't like water. I don't know why I'm going this way. I want to go this way. I'm, I also want to take a picture of you from my quest. Oh, it's seriously raining now. Okay, there's a Korok here. Okay, let's get this Korok. Yeah, ha ha, you found me. Okay, is, are there any things in the water? Um, doesn't look like there are anything in the water. So I guess we're just gonna continue back to this path over here, you know. I wonder what this battle music playing like. There aren't any enemies here, can I like... Okay, I can get on top of the platform now. Oh, I, I missed a bass. Um, no, it looks like that bass is swimming away now. And let's continue up the path. I believe there is like a small camp with like a black bacalbin coming up. Yeah. It does look like that is a um spiked um nope nope that's just normal boko stuff. Um no one cares about the boko stuff. Did I take a picture of the problem? Yeah, I don't think I did so. Um anyway. These guys are trying to kill me, but they are, are doing a bad job. I don't think I, I, these Bacalvins are, um, I don't really know how they, like, get their food and stuff, these, that Bacalvin can't aim at all, and this one is so slow, and just, is trying to attack thin air, and that black Bacalvin there just jumped to its death, actually, alright, hold up, I kind of want, I kind of want that there, I kind of want its weapon, so I'm gonna also jump down there, but not to my death, because I actually know how to swim, I don't even know how they, black Bacalvins also survive without knowing how to swim as well, um, anyway, let's take that weapon now, Moblin Spear. And let's also take this chest up here as well, on top of the other ice pillar. Um, on top of this one, it was its guts. Anyway, we got a purple ruby. Anyway, this Moblin Spear is a great weapon with four da that does four damage. And I can easily climb up here. Hey, at least the other Bacobans weren't stupid enough to chase after me into the water. Anyway, here we should have a memory. Um, but no, no, we have a blue mob that's guarding this memory. But hopefully I can just kill- Um, no, no I have to get- Oh god, you're strong. Um, you also have the, quite a big shield there. So let's just eat our bass and fight this thing, one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. I, I keep missing my inputs. Okay, here we go. Let's stab it multiple times in its stomach, and it's still not dead. 
I'm 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 starting to regain my skill here. My my spear broke. Um, I just got that spear and I wasn't able to kill one enemy with it. And dead. Let's steal its weapon and shield. Actually, it's probably take a picture of the shield. Like Goku shield. Did I skip something? Yeah, I think I skipped one. Yeah, I skipped its horn. Anyway, let's go get our memory now. Not like get us like get a single memory. Not like get our memory fully back. Oh, I, should, uh, I could take a picture of these birds. A pink heron. Okay, it's time to clear out my stuff. I'm gonna keep the picture of the hell on, because why not? Kind of just looks... Kind of just looks down on you. Oh, I have that's two pages of things now, right? Um, anyway, this is my photo album so far. We have this. The sword on the water for, that I have for no reason. Um, I should probably delete you, actually. Um, we have the donkey man. We have the farmer's pitchfork. We have a bunch of chickens. We have this cow staring at me menacingly. We have this commemoration photo of me killing a bunch of stuff. We also have this bird looking. We also have this godly bird looking upon us. And we also will be getting. Oh, ooh, a different kind of bird. This one's a blue one now, and it's also looking down down upon us in its um bended neck thingy. Anyway, Link now has the power to freeze stuff in time, even though he doesn't have stasis plus. Don't keep us in suspense. How'd everything go up there on the mountain? So you didn't feel anything? No power at all? I'm sorry. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayu. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that... thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... Well, I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm feeling. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think when I think about. Oh, she was about to make a confession. But now Dan has come. And now everyone's gonna die. Swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy, you get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No, I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use in the 
There must be something I can do to help. Okay, no, memory is over. And now that we did one memory, we can go to Impa to get a certain item that you talked about before. Anyway, Link now freezes time and lets the birds fly away. Anyway, up here we have a certain boss enemy called the Lionel. It is a horse human thingy. It rides a horse, but it is a horse and it also has a face on that horse as well as a body on that horse. I want to, I need, I need, I need to get some. I need to get a picture of the scroll, okay. Um, got the backside of the scroll. Okay, is, did this liner just forget about me? Am I that forgettable? Anyway, these liners are aggressive and will attack you instantly, and also they are very strong. Their power level increases as you um, defeat the Lion Beast throughout the game. Right now we're going against the easy mode Lionel, and where is this weed coming from? They do have incredibly high HP and will take and will probably you'll probably break all of your weapons on them. We do not currently have an, enough durability. We don't even have any way to defeat this slide on because we just don't have any durability. Enough durability to beat these things. And remote bombs don't do anything. Got stuck on a tree, haha <laughs> loser. And now it's bringing out the arrows. When it brings out the bow, you should pretty much just give up because it pretty it's pretty much just gonna aimbot you, like it just did. Anyway, so we we have no means of fighting this. Our weapons just do not do enough damage; they will all just break by the time we even get it to half HP. However, there are some good spicy peppers here. Oh, of course, that's just bombing right in front of it. Um, don't mind me; I mean no harm. See it we see we understand each other. Did I take a picture of you yeah, yes I did. Hello, how's it going mate? Bro, bro that hitbox is rigged. I was not touching that the end of that sword. That sword was barely even on camera. Just saying. How come it doesn't attack the deer and stuff? Once you get far enough away from it, the um, Lionel will bring its bow out. And when it does bring the bow out, is when you um, get out of here immediately. Um, there's quite, there's still quite a lot we can explore outside of Lanru. We can go to Ebon Mountain. Go to we can go some other places here. Um, let's travel to the Hatino Tower to um, go to some places from above. There's an enemy camp down there. I have no interest in beating. There's also a shrine crest over there. We can go to do, go and do that shrine crest. There are also some rooms there with, with, which have some Korok. Um, let's go to the shrine crest. Um, I mess it up. Let's get rid of this weapon so it's easier to see. I wasn't even in range to pick up the bomb. What? 
we we can't go far with this glitch, but we can at least get some momentum. We at least get some speed. But yeah, this glitch is. I don't get how other people just get such high speed with it. I wonder if there's a stone palace on top of here. Or maybe a line. Yeah, that's definitely a stone palace. Um, yeah, let's fight it. There are also some comments on the horses here. Auto save. Ah, uh, seriously, it's a rain right when I'm trying to um, climb a mountain. Bro, I hate the rain. And I hate water too. Uh, maybe there's a different way to get up this mountain. Doesn't look like it. Um, actually, it does look like it. I'm also probably gonna fall off the um stone towers while I'm trying to climb it. Hmm, nice view from here. When you're this close to the stone house, you pretty much can't really do anything. So I pretty much just walk backwards like this. Alright, I seriously slow down the slide down the stone house when it's raining. How funny. Anyway, let's just bash it a bunch of times. When you break a weapon on it, it does fall down. So be ready for that. Right, I didn't have enough stamina to be able to get back on it. We are doing quite a bit of damage, quite a bit of damage to it. It is a normal weak stone palace. Uh, I should also take a picture of it here. Okay, I didn't even have a chance to do anything. Okay, that's a nice picture of it. Please don't kill Oh, it only does one quarter of a heart. But at the same time, it throws me off the mountain here. Please don't go back. I still want to um, fight you. Please don't just despawn and restore your health bar. That'd be unfortunate. And also, I did already steal one of your amber, so... Uh, it already re regenerated its rot while it threw me off the map, and that's just unfair. Anyway, as well as dropping a bunch of rocks when you, um, do kill it, the Stone Talus does drop a couple of rocks while mid-fight as well, and you can see that our early game weapons are breaking extremely quickly. Seriously, you just don't throw me off like that? Just like an Antron skin. And when we get to the spear, we pretty much destroy it because spears are just fast. Anyway, it's not not really anything good, it's just a normal one, which means nothing rare, just a bunch of rubies. Um ambers and opals, mainly ambers. Anyway, let's go where we plan on going before. If only I could see where I plan on going before with this terrible rain. There's more land down here. Oh, there's a donkey nearby. Anyway, yeah. Is this... Yeah, this is near the stable. Yeah. Uh, my name's Gil. I'll come to see for I take it. Yep. There goes my turn. It's worth selling. Um... Okay, um, I can cook some heat resistant food now with all the spicy peppers I got um, from the line of place. Um, let's, some spicy meat. Um, also, let's do some spicy, some spicy milk. Yeah, who doesn't love some spicy milk? Its name is actually spicy milk. Yes, dude, I'm gonna make some more spicy milk. Um, um, let's make it. Let's make it some super spicy milk. Anyway, 
anyway, the milk that we got for the quest is now is now used to make it spicy. Some spicy bird meat, some egg meat, spicy pepper steak. Um, what can I make some mushroom milk? Yeah, I wonder. I wonder if I can make some mushroom milk. Nope, it's just spicy milk. Um. Um, some mighty milk. Oh, it actually is called mighty milk. Um, I should probably um. I'm I'm sorry to run out of milk here. Um, let's make some. Um. Um, let's make, let's, let's do some spidey, uh, um, spicy, um, nutty milk. Uh, it's still just spicy milk, um, but, um, okay, let's see what it says here. Um, drink it before bed to ensure the night's sleep. Anyway, I still have one of these things left. One, um, heat resistant thing left. I, I could pretty much take on the mountain through Lanaru by itself now, but I... Oh, that's where the donkey was. But, um, I pretty much... It's pr quite far away now. Ooh, more milk. Yeah, I can cook some more stuff with milk now. Um, can we make some, let's make some salty milk. Oh, this is just normal milk. That's boring. I want some some rocky salty milk. Um. Oh, this one also makes some more spicy milk. Or I can add some, um, that's the common guts to it. And also this, um, um, what was it? Um, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Some of the common whore. We get dubious food. It's too gross to even look at. This house smell isn't worth when it's eat. Anyway, let's eat it. Um, you can see my facial expression while eating it. Dubious food pretty much comes out when you just cook a bunch of monster stuff together. And it has no effect. Sometimes it does restore more than 1 HP. I don't know how to get to restore more than 1 HP. It just kind of randomly happens to me. But, um, it's no longer nighttime, and let's get that bee honey. It's also set it on fire. If I set that on fire, then I... No, the thing's also gone. There should be another one but near here, yep. And also, the bees are... The bees aren't nearby, so I can pretty much just take this. And there are also some stamella shrooms over here. Bunch of apples on this apple tree. Ooh, a tree branch. I could use that. The box's floating. Um, let's break down more of these trees. It's actually quite a good spot here for to get wood for my um house making quest. I have no idea how that hit me. Bro, I can't even break you. Goodbye. I'd probably eat something. Um, do you enjoy your forest being, um, bombed down? 
That was so close to hitting me. Yep, you're somehow still safe from my bombing. Um, let's eat some iron mushrooms, because why not? Um, how much wood do I have? Um, where's my wood at? Um, 57. We're gonna need way more than 57. Um, anyway, I have no idea where that guy went. Oh, the guy's still running. Let's ignore him for now and search him in his house. Um, we can sleep in his bed. Um, I think this is how I activate this shrine quest. Nope, it is. I have to talk to him. And he will, should spawn back here if I do sleep in his bed. We should see him run out again. Alright. Oh, you must have had a good night's sleep seeing me rest in your bed. Okay, let's activate this shrine quest. You caught the wind of the great Dr. Caleb's groundbreaking and riches and just had to meet him for yourself. Yeah, why else would I be sleeping in your bed? Um, no, don't tell me you've never heard, even heard of me after I've dedicated my life to researching ancient shrines. I have heard of you. Why else would I be sleeping in your bed? Well, you better remember me, my name, for it's not the last time you're not the last you're here. And while I'm at it. It's Dr. Callop, if you please. I didn't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Callop. I won't forget I'm a doctor for some reason. And since you asked, I'll inform you that I'm engaging in analyzing ancient texts. I haven't time for either chat. Soon my long years of research will be revealed and all the world will hail it as, as, as the discovery of the century. To prevent any undue attention, I don't need to like anything about my work. You understand? I'm sure. Of course, Dr. Callop. Doctor. Did I just hear you call me Doctor? As in not merely Caleb, but Doctor Caleb? It rolled off your tongue so naturally, it was downright salivary. Hmm, this changes things. Very well, man. I'm feeling charitable, so let, I'll let you think, bro. This is just between us, understand? When the dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce it to gaze to purge the steel from the shrine. I'm so impossible in deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any. I'm sharing it with you. That's my life in a nutshell. Day filled with research shrines and night spent reading ancient texts. That leaves no time to converse with passion strangers. Okay, in the next video, we will take down this rather easy shrine quest. It, it is incredibly easy. All you have to do is just use an arrow, and boom, the, the shrine's activated. And I guess I'll just. Ooh, another um, B thing. And I guess I'll just be doing shrines that entire video because I just have I have like so many shrines activated yet I haven't even done anything. I can like teleport to them. I wonder what the point of, of that those like things up there are for.